become self-sufficient with rainwater. Easy and sustainable ways. Imagine how cool it would be to have your own clean, sustainable water source. No bills, completely off-grid. Today, we'll learn about collecting and filtering rainwater. Let's get started. Friends, everything starts with the roof. Your roof is the first point for collecting rainwater. Most roof materials, whether tiles, metal or shingle, work. Make sure your roof doesn't have lead or anything toxic. Even a small roof can collect a lot of water. One inch of rain on a hundred square feet roof can provide 600 gallons of water. In many parts of the world, this is a lifestyle. You can also do this sustainable work. Let's take advantage of rainwater. Now let's talk about your gutters and downspouts. The heroes of your rainwater collection system. Your gutters are highways for water from the roof and downspouts carry the water to the storage tank. Gutter guards block leaves and debris. Install the downspout in the right direction. Use an extension or diverter. Install a mesh filter. This catches large debris. Now let's talk about the place where you'll store your precious liquid gold. Rainwater, your storage tank. Rain barrels are a classic option. They come in different sizes and materials. If you're on a tight budget, you can use old food-grade plastic drums or IBC totes. The size of the storage tank depends on your needs and space, but the general rule is the bigger, the better. Whichever storage tank you choose, make sure it's sealed and covered. This will keep the water clean and prevent mosquitoes or other insects. Now for the real deal. Purifying rainwater so it's safe and tasty to drink. When it comes to water filters, the Berkey filter is the best. The Berkey filter is a gravity-fed water filter system that removes all impurities from the water. What I like best about the Berkey filter is that it's easy to use. Just pour water into the upper chamber and gravity will do its work. Yes, the Berkey filter is a bit more expensive than other filters, but it's long-lasting and low-maintenance, so it's worth the money. If you need a cheaper solution, don't worry, I have one. A DIY sand and biochar filter is a great way to purify rainwater. The special thing about this filter is its simplicity. You just need a large container, gravel, sand, play sand, and activated charcoal. To make a DIY sand and biochar filter, put gravel at the bottom of the container, then sand, play sand, and activated charcoal. Is the filter ready? Pour the rainwater from the top and let it collect in the container below. Now let's talk about the cheapest and most natural water purification method, solar UV purification, also known as the SODIS method. This method is simple but effective, and people have been using it for centuries to clean water. To use the SODIS method, fill transparent plastic bottles with rainwater, close them tightly, and leave them in the sun for six hours. The SODIS method is effective at killing germs, but it doesn't remove heavy metals or chemical contaminants. Outro, title, a sustainable future, one drop at a time. Body, imagine never having to worry about water scarcity or bills. With a little effort, you can use nature's gift and take control of your water. So tell us in the comments, what's your next step? Rain barrel, DIY filter, let's inspire each other. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and let's build a sustainable future, one drop at a time.